It's time for Butler Bulldogs basketball inside Hinkle Fieldhouse. It's Butler and Villanova. A sellout, and Hinkle Fieldhouse has been checkered blue and white in partnership with the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Think of some of the great games that you've seen inside Hinkle Fieldhouse here against Villanova. There was, of course, the 100 from 1 to 93 victory back in December of 17. Walt Jorgensen hit a shot from midcourt. Kamar Baldwin, game winner here in Hinkle against Villanova. Team, there have just been some close ones. They've come down to the wire. On the low block, still 10 on the shot clock. Posh, turn around, banked it in, and the lid is removed. Posh Alexander underneath, grabbed it on the baseline, put it through. Behind the back, turned it up and in. A finger roll, finish for the freshman. Trolls, Telford, curling around at the free throw line, and that one goes down. Side. Back to Thomas, mid-range jumper through the net, and good. Telford, left wing, three in the air, good! Digs in, screen up and in with the right hand in the lane. Andre slings it to the left side, Telfort launches a three. That is good. Down Brooks, spin around in the lane. Made it look easy as he turned around just inside the free throw line and put it through. Telfort corner three, yes, his third trifecta. Brooks out of the right wing, catches, moves in and finishes with the right hand. And it's a nine point Villanova lead into the locker rooms, 36-27 over the Butler Bulldogs. Here's DJ Davis driving in the lane, throws it out, off the window, and there's his first field goal of the game. Pierre navigating forward, free throw line, shot goes down. Landon fires the guard inside, flushed in by screen. And half, oh, of eight from downtown. Brooks, a three, not for long. Pierre answers back. Telfort moves it over to DJ Davis, three in the air, three good. There's a shot. 43. Villanova leading. Butler with the ball. Telfort underneath. Knocked it in. Green is short. Thomas, the offensive rebound. Thomas inside to Posh. Posh in the lane. Kick out. Davis an open three. Count it. DJ Davis wants another this time for the left side. And it goes down. Into screen. Pass out. Telfort a three. With three on the shot clock, goes down. It's a five-point game. 54. Davis is straight away three. Yes, sir. Spin. Brooks charging in on the right side. And lays it in. DJ leans into a two. Oh, did that go down and down? DJ Davis. Officials huddled over. It is going to be a three. Shot clock at three. Working toward the elbow. Turnaround is no good. Two Villanova leading by two. Butler will take a timeout. Telford. Eight seconds left. Telford driving and slamming. Oh, as he fouled as well. No. Five seconds left. It's tied at 64. Longino throws it up to Moore at midcourt against Alexander. Half-court heave, no good. Overtime in Indy. DJ navigates forward, floats it up, floats it down. DJ has taken over offensively. Brooks driving. Brooks finishing on the right block. Shoot DJ to the elbow, hesitates. Step through, up, in. Oh, 10 seconds left. DJ's got it. DJ drives inside. The lane clears. And DJ takes advantage. Tied at 72. More across midcourt. One second left. Straight away three. No. Two. Overtimes. Oh, what a game. 72 all. Butler and Villanova. Screen one on one. Strong move. And the bucket goes down. Turns the corner, gets to the elbow. Bounced it. Davis cutting on the baseline. Oh, no! oh he brought it down to the knees and reversed it. Spin it, DJ. Side of the floor, working against Davis. A blocked by Thomas with a minute left. Butler's only led for 22 seconds this afternoon. Not for long. Alexander puts Butler on top with a drive to the right. Some noise. Hinkle is rocking. Picks it back up on the baseline. 14 on the shot clock. Thomas holding strong. Did he 
step out of play? Did he step out of play? Did he? Yes! Yes, he did on the baseline! 29.1 left. Thomas holding strong. Pass with six seconds left. Bamba, a three. No. That's the ball game. Wave the checker flag. Butler, an 88-81. Instant classic in Indy. The Bulldogs fought their way back in throughout this game and close it on a 14-3 run in the second overtime to improve to 500 in conference play. Yeah,